transport of toxins, electrolytes and water, occurs from blood to dialysate and of electrolytes from dialysate to blood. This occurs via two methods, diffusion and convection. Let's look at a cross-section of the filter now to understand convection. For simplicity, we will focus here only on convection of solutes from blood to dialysate. This is a cross-section inside of a hemodialysis filter with dialysate on one side and blood on the other, separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Note the membrane has pores through which solutes move across the compartments. Inside of a dialyzer, the blood compartment has higher hydrostatic pressure compared to the dialysate compartment. This allows water to move from the blood to the dialysate. This hydrostatic pressure gradient is called transmembrane pressure, and the process of removal of water from blood is called ultrafiltration. As water moves across the semipermeable membrane, it drags with it, at the same rate, both small solutes, such as urea and creatinine, as well as middle molecules, such as beta-2 microglobulin. This is called solvent drag, and the process is called convection. Solutes move with water across the membrane, irrespective of their molecular weight, as long as they can fit through the pores in the membrane. Therefore, larger the pore, better the convective clearance of the dialyzer. Middle molecules, such as beta-2 microglobulin, have low diffusive clearance, but a high convective clearance, and therefore are cleared better with convection. Albumin is a large molecule with a molecular weight of 66,000 Daltons, and has low diffusive and convective clearance across a standard dialysis membrane.